Hello everyone, this is a lesson on algebraic equations. We have done lessons on algebraic expression. What is the difference? With an equation, you have an equal sign. So you gotta solve. Usually in your um, equation, you're gonna have a variable. In this case, we have an A. So we're gonna solve for A. But this term, we have 4a. 4 is the constant and the a. Or 4 is the coefficient of a. So, but we're going to solve for a. We want to see how big is a. Let's see how we do that. We want to leave this term that has a variable. It has a constant, 4, coefficient, and an a. So, we're going to take the 5 to the other side. When you take it to the other side, it changes sign. So, we have 4a is equals to that 17 then minus 5. These two are like terms, you can subtract them. So you have 4a is equal to 17 minus 5 is 12. If you have a 4 and an a like this with no sign between them, it means they multiply. So if you have two things that are multiplying and we want to leave the a, we divide by 4. But with equations, what you do on your left, you do on your right. So also here, we divide by 4. So our a is equal to 3. This is the value for a. Okay, let's look at a different example. With this second example, we are dealing with fractions. But what is important here is to notice that I have one fraction and one fraction. I don't have any other thing. So when we have one fraction, this side equal sign, one fraction, we cross multiply. What we do, we take the denominator from this side, multiply it with a numerator, and take the denominator this side, multiply it with a numerator. So here, we have 2 into 2x minus 1. The 2, you multiply with 2x minus 1. That's why you put a bracket around, so that we multiply the whole term. And then here, 4 times 1 will give us 4. Then we multiply. 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times minus 1 minus 2 is equal to 4. Now, we're going to leave the variable which is with its coefficient this side and the, the, the constant to the other side. And 4x is equal to 4. When 2 goes to the other side, it becomes positive 2. Then we have 4x is equal to 6. Then we divide by 4. Divide by 4. Our x is equal to 2 here goes 3 times over 2. This is our answer. So just remember, when you have one term a fraction and one term fraction, you cross multiply. Let's look at the third example. Okay, this last example, we are dealing with fractions. You have a fraction here, another fraction, an equal sign and equals two. Now you can't cross multiply because you have two terms. So what you do, you multiply each term with the first denominator. The, my first denominator is five. So we have five times x over 5 plus 2 no no 5 you multiply each term with a 5 5 times 3x minus 2 over 2 and then is equals to 5 times 2 first fraction first denominator multiply every term what you will do it will cancel the 5 in this term so here we'll be left with x. Here, 5 times 3 is 15. x, 5 times 2, it's minus 10. But everything is still divided by 2. And then 5 times 2, it's 10. Okay? Now, when we look at our equation, we have this denominator of 2. We need to get rid of the denominator of 2. How do you get rid of that? You multiply each term with a 2. So this will be... 2 times x for the first term plus 2 times 15x minus 10 over 2 for the second term equals to 2 times 10. 2 times x will be 2x. The 2 will cancel the 2. will be left with plus 15x minus 10. And then 2 times 10 is 20. Now when you look at our equation, we don't have denominators anymore. So we can add like terms together. 
2x plus 15x will give you 17x. The 10 will take you to the other side. It will be 20 plus 10. Because it was negative, when it goes to the other side, it becomes positive. Then we have 17x is equal to 30. Divide by 17 to get rid of the 17. Divide by 17. The 17, we cancel the 17. X is equal to 30 over 17. You can simplify the fraction if you, if you like. So this is how we do the three different kinds of equations. Please uh, watch this video more than once and practice, practice, practice. This is the information you're going to use until you make grade 12. Thank you for watching. This is the end of our lesson.